In this video, we solve problem 11.5.044 from the Larson and Edwards Calculus Early Transcendental Functions text, 7th edition. We're asked to find the equation of a plane that passes through a given point and is perpendicular to the given vector or line. Um, these are the symmetric equations of a line. So um, this is actually a, a pretty simple problem if you understand um, how um, everything is set up. You want to think geometrically. So remember how this works. A plane is a collection of points. And let's say one of the points is the point P. And P has coordinates x naught, y naught, and z naught. And maybe the, the plane is sort of defined by this normal vector n hat, or excuse me, just n. And uh, that has components a, b, and c. And we define the plane in this way. The plane is the set of all points x, y, z. We call that point Q, such that the vector from P to Q is perpendicular um, to that vector or orthogonal to that vector. So all of the x, y, z's that cause the vector from x naught, y naught, z naught to x, y, z to be perpendicular or orthogonal to this vector with components a, b, and c, um, those are the points in our plane. Actually, I think. Let's do it this way. Well, no, that's right. P to Q is how we wanted it. Just kidding. Okay, so that's the defining feature of the um, points P and Q in that plane. So if I want to state the equation of a plane, one way I can do it is I can take the normal vector and I can dot it with the vector PQ. And since those are always orthogonal to each other, that dot product has to be zero. Well, that means I'm taking the vector with components a, b, and c, and I'm dotting it with the vector with these components, x minus x naught, uh, y minus y naught, and z minus z naught. When we do that, we get a times x minus x naught plus b times y minus y naught plus c times z minus z naught equals zero. And that's the equation of the plane. Sometimes we call this standard form. So when they give us this point, uh, 6, 4, 4, they're really giving us an x naught, y naught, and z naught. The only other things we need to find are a, b, and c. That's the um, components of the normal vector um, to that plane. Well, we're told that this plane um, is perpendicular to this line. Well, all that means is that if I were to draw the line, Let's draw it like this, kind of find a different color. We draw the line and it intersects the plane at some point. Those are meeting at a right angle. Well, that's just the same as saying that the direction vector for the line is parallel to the um, normal vector of the plane. And usually V is shown this way with components A, B, and C. Or sorry, I, I wrote perpendicular, but I meant parallel. So these are parallel to each other. Or you could even say that they were equal to each other. Um, so you just need to find the direction vector for a line. Well, when we're looking at the symmetric equations of a line, the direction vector appears, or the components of the direction vector appears in the denominators of these guys. So you've got x minus x naught, y minus y naught, and z minus z naught in the numerator, and a, b, and c, um, the components of that direction vector to the line in the denominator. Now this y, y plus four doesn't have anything under it, so we can just write an implied one there. And then we see that a, b, and c would have to be 8, 1, and negative 6. So this is what we have. The normal vector to our plane um, is the same or is parallel to this direction vector for a line. So they could just be equal to each other if we wanted to, wanted them to be. So the normal vector would have components 8, 1, and negative 6 and we have this point x naught, y naught, z naught. So putting those two pieces together, we have this. Um, 
I'm just substituting an A, B, and C into this equation of the plane. Actually, let me highlight it to make it clear what I'm referencing here. And then we're taking x, y, and z, and we're subtracting x naught, y naught, and z naught. So we're subtracting a 6 and a 4 and a 4. So this becomes 8x minus 48 plus y minus 4 minus 6z plus 24 equals 0. So negative 4 plus 24 is 20. Uh, positive 20 minus uh, 48 is going to give me negative 28. So we have 8x plus y minus 6z minus 28 um, is equal to 0. That's one way that you can write the equation of this uh, plane. Or you could add the 28 to the other side. And that would be fine as well. And I believe my lab statistics, or excuse me, my lab, or web assign, sorry, I'm teaching a number of classes. Um, WebAssign wants this version where the constant is on the right-hand side. 